All right, part two. I had three, I'm in two. Okay, so uh, we now have our content in here and I've done general settings for the entirety of what we have here. Um, but now what I need to do basically is uh, go to, uh, I need to adjust everything, right? So I'm gonna go, um, we haven't learned about dudes and spans yet, so we're just gonna do like, I'm just gonna go to each element and basically just apply different uh, things. Uh, just the stuff that we learned. So just uh, box uh, rules and text rules, and that's basically it, okay? So um, right off the bat, cone, I'd like that to be a little bit bigger than what it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and write in here. We're just going to write style. So you always just write style equals, and then uh, we'll do font size, and let's just make it, I don't know, uh, 48px. Let's try that, and uh, save it. Let's hit Control R. I guess that's fine. Um, let's also just for fun. Uh, let's also do text. Oops, not capital D. Text align, and let's just go ahead and do center. Uh, good. Save that. Control R. There you go. Now that's centered. Um, good. Okay. So uh, next is, and this is probably the biggest glaring issue because. I hate this picture as it is, but it'd probably be even better if it was actually... Look, I didn't have any gray back then. Wait, I see one right there. Okay. Uh, we need to make this smaller. Okay, so let's just go ahead and um, do this a couple of different ways. We, uh, on images, you don't have to make them a style in order to apply. You can actually just go ahead and type in width. Uh, and let's do width. Let's do... Um, 360 px not that that was a lot 360 px okay oh actually i don't have to do that either just like that control s control r oh um and in fact actually you don't have to put the px in there too it'll know that it's px uh so we'll say it's an okay size the um now you might be like oh i need to do the height too right so let's do height and let's do i don't know it looks like it's it's like square but Let's just say we did height. Let's say we did 480, right? I'm going to save that. No, I didn't put the PX in. See what the issue is? So generally speaking, uh, unless you know the exact size of what your image is and you proportionately scale it, um, do not uh, do not only put one of them in. And typically we put the width in. So don't put the height in. Leave height alone. Just use width. That way um, the browser will automatically scale the head or not the head, the size uh, accordingly. This is a head, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I would like to center this, but unfortunately we can't. Uh, we can, we just I can't with the knowledge that we know thus far. So uh, we're gonna leave that non-centered. Um, let's go ahead and do the P now, uh, that which is this right here, the man, the myth, the primitive shape. So we're gonna go ahead and put a style into this. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do text align, uh, text align, and we will do center again. And then I'm also going to do color. And let's do white, just because. All right, so control S, control R. Okay, looks like a thing that happened. Yay, okay. Now, uh, we basically got this chunk down here, right? So let's just go ahead and um, change some things about them, I guess. Um, what, well, actually, let's go through and just make all of our uh, stuff that's uh, emphasis. And uh, what do we have? We have strong, and I think we have emphasis too, right? Yeah. So let's do our strong, and let's add a style to that so it's not just making it bold. So um, let's go ahead and do style equals quotes. Good. Um, and then let's do, um, font weight. And I'm just going to show you this. Uh, let's do normal. I just want to show you something. So we'll do font weight normal, control S, control R, and boom, you can see it actually took that off. So it's not so important what this does as far as formatting is concerned. What matters is that it's saying it's strong. Okay. That has a semantic meaning. Um, because what we can do is we can always say everything that's strong, I want it to look a certain way. What, that's what I care about. That's why we don't use the um, the bold the uh, the bold one instead. We use strong. Okay. 
All right, so uh, let's do normal, and then for strong ones, let's instead um, change the color. Actually, let's change the font size. So you're like, ooh, it's something, right? Um, font size, and let's do, uh, what are we doing, 18? So let's do uh, 24px. And let's also do color, and we'll make it uh, we'll make it actually black so it's a little bit sticks out. Semicolon, control S, go over here, control R, and there you go. Now you see it sticks out a little bit more than the other ones. Good. Uh, and now we have this part in here where our emphasis is. So where's the emphasis? Right here. Okay. So for this, let's go ahead and do um, uh, style. And then we'll do uh, font style. And then you can see italic. I can go ahead and make that normal. And that will remove the italics. Itali you know what I mean. Italics? I guess it's just like italics. Okay. And then what we'll do instead is we will make it smaller. So we'll do font size. And we'll just go smaller. So we'll do... Um, What's 18? So let's do uh, 14px. And then we'll do color. And let's do dark. Because I don't feel like going over there and typing it. We're just going to do dark gray. And we're doing G R A Y because we're American. Okay. Uh, control S. And I'll just do Control R. And now you can see it's really hard to see. Okay, I'm going to go over here and do this one because that's too hard to... Let's just go ahead and do a little bit lighter. Actually, you know what? Let's, I got an idea. Let's do like a really light this color instead. So like a light off color. Okay, uh, hit OK. And then I'm just going to use that. Control C because that was too close in value to the other thing. So I'll just copy and paste it. Control S. Let's go back here. Control R. There we go. And now you can not read it very well either. Okay. Just want to try and show you how we're using these. We're going to probably remake this whole thing in the next one because uh, we're going to do a bunch of things with this. Okay. So we got that. We got that. Um, so we've already adjusted those. So maybe we'll just do a little bit here. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and on the paragraphs, let's just change the background color. So. Uh, or actually, let's do borders, actually, because I don't think we've done anything with borders. Um, so, I got an idea. So, it might be nice that if we, in between, we put uh, a border, maybe between this part here and what's below it. Or actually, we'll put a border around things he, uh, he dislikes. So, things he dislikes, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the unordered list, so it's going to go around this. So... We're just going to go ahead and do style, and then we'll do, so you can do border, but I always get confused by, oh, I guess it's letting me, by what goes first. Uh, I usually have to look it up because I don't remember what, because you have to put the style, the color, and the thickness. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do, what do we got here? I'm just going to put a color in. Yeah, see, it's not telling me the rest of the stuff. So instead of doing that, I like to just do it manually. So I'll do border style. And then we'll say, let's do... Uh, outset. Okay. And then uh, after that, we'll do border um, hyphen width. And then we'll just say that it's two pixels. Okay. And then after that, we'll do border... Um, style with, oh, color, border color. And I'll just grab something over here. And uh, we'll just do this color again. That one will work. So I'll just control C, control V, semicolon, like that. Okay. Then we'll save it. Control S, control R. And then there you go. Now we have uh, a border that's going around uh, my item here, okay? So now we've done the borders, we've done um, the coloring. 
let's go ahead and just, I don't know, we'll just add background colors to all the uh, P elements. So I'm just gonna go here, go style, um, background, color, and let's just go ahead and choose, let's do this color, I don't really care. Uh, this, control C, control D, and I'm just gonna grab this whole thing, like this, the style, control C, I'm gonna go to the paragraph, control V, and wait, there should've been three of them. Oh, and up at the top one here too. Control V, okay. And we'll oops, make sure there's a space between us. There we go. Control S, let's go over here. It's gonna be, make your eyes bleed more than likely. All right, um, so now we've done, it looks terrible, <laughs> but we've at least, we've used, I think, most of the stuff that was in, um, uh, where, most of the stuff that was in our thing here. I just want to double check. Um, when, no, not these guys. Oh, so actually let's go ahead and add some padding and stuff to uh, parts individually. So while we're inside these P elements, let's go ahead and add some padding in there. So I'm just gonna do semicolon, let's just do padding and let's do, yeah, just padding, and then we'll just do, I don't know, uh, 15 PX, we'll say. I'm just gonna copy that and paste them to the other ones. Control V, make sure you put the semicolon on this one as well. Yep, good, okay, and then semicolon, Control V, okay, Control S, Control R, there you go. And now you see there's a gap between this and this, and again, just to further, so you get the idea, um, let's go ahead and also, um, we'll just do it on the middle one, just so you can see it. In the middle one, I'm gonna add margin, margin. And we'll just do, uh, let's just do five pixels. Five PX, semicolon, control S. Now what you're gonna see is gonna be a gap of five pixels, oops, control R, I meant. Uh, five pixels between the end of this and that. So see how this is offset again? So the padding is the space between the outside and the inside, and then the um, margin is between the outside and the next uh, corresponding element. So it's also between here and here. But let's say we want more gap between these two. All I'd have to do is like in the beginning, I'll just add a style, okay? And then we'll do um, margin, but I'm gonna do margin hyphen bottom. So it's just the bottom, oops. And then we'll just say, let's do uh, an extra 20 PX, okay? Control R. Uh, let me see, which one was I doing? Margin bottom H2 in the beginning, okay. Let's do more than that. Let's do like 50. There you go. Um, and that will put a bigger gap Still not really super obvious. Let's do uh, let's do 100. There you go. Now you can see a bigger gap basically um, between this and the part below. So if you want to have more of a gap between things, I could do just margin bottom. You could do just padding left, just padding you know hyphen top bottom what have you. Um, okay. So. We've done quite a bit uh, on this, it looks terrible. Um, but basically what I want you to do is complete this. It should look just like this. Then when you're done, just go ahead and make sure you control S. You should have been saving anyway because you've been doing the stuff here. Close out of that, close out of that. Uh, and then you have your last name, not your last name literally, your physical last name. You're just gonna take it, right click, send to, compress zip folder, okay? And then, or right click compress if you're on a Mac. Then take that, and upload that to um, week two lab or whatever. It'll be in Blackboard. Just go to week two and you'll see the thing. You're just gonna drop that that uh, folder right in there and then you are done. So um, good luck. Uh, hopefully it'll start to make a little more sense as you go through, all right? So if you run into any issues, just let me know. I will try to respond as quickly as possible.